wake up. Come on, wake up. Welcome to Trivia Night, my way of testing society's refuse to make sure only the worthy survive. But there's trivia, games of skill, and lots of unnecessary violence. It's fun! I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Oh, and hey, look, we've got an audience playing along too. Tell you what, at the end of the game, if the audience has less money than the player who wins, everyone in the audience dies. I was told people might like to play it over Twitch. I'm not sure what Twitch is, but I like the sound of it. Twitch. Listen to me blabber on. Let's just get into the game. You'll figure it out as we go. Okay now, first question. And now for a segment I like to call, Questions for People Who Were Teenage Boys in 1999. On Late Night with Conan O'Brien, who was the character Mick Ferguson better known as? And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, I have a surprise for you. Welcome to the killing floor. Let's play the finger cutting game. No one has to die in this one. Unless you refuse to participate, just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Easy, right? All you have to do is endure blinding pain. Chop, chop. You deserve an ice cream. You won't get one, but still. Here's everybody's score so far. Are scores important? If you crave external validation, then yeah. And before I forget, let's check in with that audience. Looking at that score, the audience might be dead already. Let's try another one. You know, pets can really enrich your life. What island nation does the deadly Komodo dragon call home? said this one the rest of you I have a surprise for you welcome back to the killing floor I'm going to ask you a question answer very carefully where do you see yourself in five years Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Ah! Now everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the answer that you hate the most. Whoever wrote the answer with the most votes dies. Pick the answer that makes you kind of hangry. The votes are in. I guess we can consider these your last words. Let's take a peek at those scores. Who's feeling the pressure? I've got more questions for you. The year Jeopardy first went on the air. Yeah. 
Who said this? The rest of you, prepare for your punishment. Let's do a little memory test. Memorize the pattern. All right, let's put these away. Is it distracting if I start yelling out, car, duck, square, Wisconsin? <laughs> From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? And if your puny brains can only remember one thing, don't come in last. was the pattern, you silly gooses? How close did you get? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. How about this? I hate Christmas. Why can't we push people down when we shop all year long? What's the name of the hot toy no parent can get in the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, Jingle All The Way? And the correct answer is... this. The rest of you who are still alive, let's go someplace fun. Let's see who's a wordsmith. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I especially love adverbs, but that's just me. I'm going to hurt the person with the shortest word. Do it! Now! By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. Let's see what you came up with. Your bad spelling is worthless. This was inevitable. Let's try another one. Which country produces Kobe beef? <laughs> Who picked this one? Play a game. I think it's time for some senseless violence. You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you could grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. Now go say hello to some people with your fists. It looks like everybody was seen green. Now you'll be seen red. You can see the full explanation of the tiebreaker rules over on my website. 
And truth be told, I could really use the traffic. I've been trying to use social media, but it's not working. Hey, did anybody hear that? I think the squirrels are back in the attic. Ugh, this is what it's like to be a homeowner, kids. All right, next question. What's a male turkey called? And the correct answer is... This one? Hmm, too easy. Alright, next question. I'm thinking about installing a water feature down here. Maybe a nice fountain. I don't know. Just want to up the resale value of the old dungeon, you know what I mean? The Trevi Fountain is located in which city? said this. Prepare for your punishment. Let's play a dice game. I'll go first. Eleven. Now I need a little help from a safe player. How about you? In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. Okay, seems doable. I don't know, it's a toss-up. Roll higher than me or you die. <laughs> Let me guess, you're more of a video poker player, right? <laughs> oh, everybody's dead now? Well, I guess I'll have to do this then. I brought you back to life because you're more or less doing the best. Okay, let's go. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Cheers, characters. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. See the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. of the view. Just smart people, huh? Can you stay out of the shadows? Marsupials!
developing countries. Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. <laughs> 